Hey, this is Alex with the Caddis Fly Shop here. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate a fly called the Golden Grill. I'm going to be tying it on a Regal Revolution. This is a bronze rotary vise, one of my favorites. You can put any hook in it. You never have to adjust anything. Um, great pieces of equipment. Also, what's, I'm, I'm using a new hairline product called the uh, Ultimate Long Neck LED Light to illuminate this fly. Um, check it out. We have it on our website as well. Um, so what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to start with a SL45 bonefish hook. And these hooks range from a size four to an eight. Actually, I believe maybe a 12, but that, that's okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll clamp this into the vise. Always have it parallel with my whatever surface I'm tying on with the hook shank. I'm going to apply thread. I always wrap away from myself. And so I'll coat most of the shank, but not all of it. Uh, now I'll trim my tag in. I'm going to take medium bead chain eyes. Any ones will work, but I use gold, um, hence the name the Golden Grill. Uh, something kind of funny is why they call it this fly is like when you have like a bonefish or a permit with it in its mouth, it looks like a, you know, they got a grill. Here we go. So anytime I tie eyes on, what I did is I always, I'll wrap away from myself, but I'll kind of tie it at an angle like this. Okay, well, why I do that is because then when I come back and tie this opposite direction, it really locks those eyes in, and I'll show you here once you do that. Sometimes you kind of adjust them, and I get really picky about that. It's the first thing on a fly that kind of gets messed up is if you rush um, and tie your eyes in incorrectly. So then I'll bring that down. Um, very simple fly here is I just use this gold holographic flashaboo. And then I will later be using a vinyl, a small vinyl nymph rib. And I will demonstrate that again once I come to that point. But so what I'll do is I'll do a tail about the size of the hook shank. Most flies I tie, I use the hook shank as a measurement. Um, it just makes things look proportional. I always like the hook kind of in the center of a fly. Just may, maybe I'm overthinking, but I think you just get a better hookup rate with things like that. So you don't have to be sparing with this stuff here. I'll tie, I'll top, chop out about a chunk of about 15 strands, and you know I'm not sitting here counting them. I'll bring it here, measure it to the hook shank, pinch right at the end of it, and I will tie it in all the way up to the eyes. Why well, I do that is to have a flat or have a uniform surface around the hook. What I mean by that is like as I wrap thread, everything will look very nice at the end. So then I'll trim these and I'll come back and use this stuff later. So I'll secure that stuff in there. Uh, flash view is really slick, so make sure you really do wrap it down pretty tight. You can double it over. Um, most of the time you don't have to. So I'll come back with some of these strands of the golden flashaboo and tie in this long um, kind of piece of it because then I'm going to wrap it up the shank. Um, here's where the vinyl nymph rig comes back. I'll get like a couple inch piece. Just tie it through here. Um, I'll tie it kind of along the spine, this back spine of the hook. It's just for, you know, it looking nice, neat, clean, and pretty. So then I'll take these longer strands, and I'm wrapping away from myself again with most things I do. Come up the hook shank all the way up to the eyes. And I'll tie that off right behind those eyes. And then I will actually wrap it around the eyes as well. So then it kind of gets the, so I don't see any thread. Don't be afraid to throw this at anything else. I mean, there's so many fish that eat kind of a gold looking spoon fly or anything just flashy and unconventional. I've just seen a lot of critters eat it. And I think we may even try it for salmon here locally. 
Um, and this vinyl rib kind of does a kind of adds a kind of a segmented effect. And it kind of looks gives a kind of a shrimpy buggy look, but it also just like really brightens up the gold and just makes it very uh, well, how do I say this? Seeable. I'll just tie that from on the tied off at the front of the hook here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take the rest of this gold flashaboo. I'll wrap it around the hook like this. And that's so it really secures in there. With this regal, I can adjust my rotary with this dial here so then my it stays flat. It doesn't rotate anymore on me. Um, but anyway, I'll tie this flash in. Like I said, you can tie these as thick as you want. It doesn't have to be really all that sparse. I'll kind of uh, massage those fibers towards the back. And I'll grab them all like this and then trim them so they're all about the same size. And we'll tie this fly off. Feel free to use any kind of uh, Sally Hansen's or uh, um, glues to finish this up. I normally just do two or three whip finishes and call it good. One and two. And there it is, the golden grill.